PS5. But I would love to get two PS5s, right? And uh, we get double the game. We sit down, we play together, and we try to survive zombies together. Maybe that'll save our marriage. We'll finally learn to work maybe, together. Maybe. Or. or <laughs> <laughs> so we lost your master Lee. And Lulu. Oh, it's that time of year again. And Halloween. No. Not. Zombies. Zombie time. Which you know, it, you know, Halloween. But what I look forward to is zombies. Call of Duty, my favorite mode. The big problem with zombies for me is that, given what Call of Duty is, right, which is the most dominant game out there. They package it in like an afterthought. It's sort of like a one-off experience. It's a separate mode. Sometimes they got it, sometimes they don't. And I'm like, Activision, maybe you should, you know, get yourself out of all these lawsuits to focus on delivering stuff that, you know, gamers want, which is a dedicated zombie game. I think they could totally nail it. Like the zombie game within Call of Duty is really fun. Probably the best experience. I know you never played it, but like I would love to play it with you. It's collaborative. You try to survive. Really? You know? Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's it's honestly my favorite mode. Okay, okay. But it's it's like you know you have to go buy the whole game, and if you don't want to play the multiplayer, sometimes the single player is good, sometimes it's not. I'm like I'm telling you, this is what they ought to do. Halloween comes around, uh -huh. they should release a zombie game specifically. Right. Separate from the main game, gets people into the action, they learn the mechanics, all the new stuff that's in there, uh -huh. and then boom, you still Call of Duty. They can make more money, uh -huh. right? They're, they're happier that way. But at least then for me, I don't have to wait until like, you know, holiday season to play zombies. Because this is what I want to play. I want to play right now. There's like a lull in gaming. Everyone's waiting for the holidays. This is the time to do it. Still at 30 bucks, still the full price, mm -hmm. right? And if you get updates, new maps, still throughout the year. Do it later. Exactly. Add it. It's a big miss. This is why John Lee's so smart and uh, why- That's how you make money. You're good at it. Yeah, but you know, Activision's <laughs> never called me back. Activision's <laughs> one of those companies I feel like over the years never has, uh, uh, that being said, I never actually applied to a job at Activision. So, but I will say this, right? The gaming industry is, today I feel like everyone's just kind of stuck in copy me mode, right? Like Fortnite took off, it's just a mode, right? Battle Royale, one person lives, and then Call of Duty launched their Battle Royale, and then Apex Legends got one, and like everyone's got one. But like, who, who's who got a zombie mode game? Nobody. We have to wait till something like Back for Blood to come out, which is like a one-off game. Annualized zombie game around Halloween? Uh-huh, yeah. Right. Mm, scary time. amount of money. Right. Yeah. Anyways, let's check out this new trailer. It's really, really good, I hear. Alrighty. That means that every Call of Duty trailer is really good. I can already predict they're gonna sync it with the music. It's gonna be awesome. And uh I'm looking forward to the next gen graphics of zombies. Extra gory, extra bloody, extra ray tracing. Scary, 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 scary. By the way, if you want some cool commentary, check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show on my OnlyFans. All right. Let's do this, and away we go. Whoa, scared me. Oh, it already looks good. Oh, a little bit of a, a, a cultish sort of. If you're a wolf from Von List, you are the instrument of my revenge. <laughs> Looks so good. Looks Maybe good. Right. 
looks like there's a story this time. The story is that he got the devil on his side. That's all. <laughs> nah, nah. There's more like a, a cult feel to it, which they always, you know, it's a theme they always revisit because, um, and you know, it's something that I think a lot of gamers know because there's a lot of games out there where there's zombies and a cult and Nazis, uh -huh. but it's based on like true, true story? yeah, like the Nazis were a little a cuckoo about this stuff and they were thinking like, hey, if we can bring back the dead, like there were people doing research into oh. this back then. I don't know that you know they actually summon like Hellboy or anything like that, but you know the idea was that yeah they had a penchant for some pretty crazy Shiite, and uh, this is an example of it. So looks really it good. Is pretty all right, all right. I, I need to look a little bit more into this because it looks like they are. This is new, all right? This this could you know what it could be Activision is doing what I'm saying here. Um, because typically this mode it's just you fight, you die, and that's it type of thing, right? You play it again. Okay. But uh, there is a storyline, and it's a storyline that's picked up from the last time they did a zombie mode, like during the World War. And uh, it looks like the devs are saying that they want to make it a trilogy to tell the story further. Mm -hmm. So if they flesh it out, then it could spell like, you know, people really like it. They may spin it off to a separate series. Ah. Now, you know, you guys can Inch? double the cash cow. Right, right. Again, I'm a gamer. I don't want you to, I don't want you to fleece me. I'm just saying that I would like for this series to breathe. Make it its own, right? Don't make it the Batman and Robin. Robin never gets his own shit, right? Like, make it, make Robin the star. Make him Nightwing. Make him, you know, maybe he'll never be as close as Batman. But to me, I, I like, I'd like the zombie mode. Okay, yes, me too. Can, can we play with this? Yeah, this is the one thing, you know, now that we got a big house, babe, we got five rooms, right? I'm going to see, I can't even get one PS5, but I would love to get two PS5s, right? And uh, we get double the game, we sit down, we play with each other, and we try to survive zombies together. Maybe that'll save our marriage. We'll finally learn to work maybe, together. Maybe. Or. or <laughs> <laughs> it would be the end of our marriage as we yes. fight. I'm like, why am I dying? I would be so mad. Why are you letting why the zombies in my house? Dead? God dang it, Lulu, why can't you aim? <laughs> I'm dying always because of you. No. You're always the one crew. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, exciting! <laughs> now I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> oh boy! But if they could totally do this. I think they could spin up to make its own series. It would be really, really fun. Call of Duty Zombies separate, and um, hey, it's developed by a whole another developer. I mean, let's, let me look at this. Right, it's not a side mode. When you have a whole another developer working on a a side game because it's so big, it means it's its own game. I don't know what you're talking about, but. I'm Sounds talking to like... the fans right now. <laughs> For us, all I'm talking about is uh, I would love to be able to bring this kind of game back. Although the latest one for PC, maybe we'll play that one, the Bad for Blood one. It's back and it's like four player co op. You can you know, play with each other and you, know, you can survive. It's like, uh, remember back in the day, we, I used to with my cousins, Left for Dead, and we were uh -huh. like, you know, four player co op, try to survive zombie waves and uh -huh. stuff like that. Apparently, yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. Zombies, okay. man, they're hot again, I tell you. 